isn't responding. You know where the grocery store used to be? That's where the signal is coming from. Investigate it if you can. One other thing. Be careful. Over and out. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Stalker Call of Pripyat. This is part 40 and I've returned to Pripyat as you can see and the colonel has just asked me to check out or to find their sentry. Apparently they, s they send out some guys to recon the area I guess. But before I head off <coughs> I just want to unload some of this stuff. Um, carrying around a lot of ammunition and extra supplies, so. But, um, I just wanted to include that initial radio transmission in the video. Um, so. А рукава короткие, берцы вон сами слетают. Я тут в зеркало посмотрелся, страшно стало. А прапор ему. Все путем, солдат. Все как надо. Запомни, мы должны внушать врагу, что? Правильно. Страх. Another joke, apparently. At least this guy found it funny. So, that's cool. Don't think I quite understood what was being said, but um, I'm quickly gonna... Actually... I noticed that uh, Cotton gave me this keycard to the X-8 laboratory or uh, whatever it is. So I think we might need to just head up to him. Um, I have info on the un unidentified weapon. Wow, how does work? Can be used to shoot down a helicopter. Technically, it can, but Stingrays 4 and 5 crashed due to electronic malfunctions. Accelerated bullets couldn't have done that. Damn, that's a dead end. So, okay, about that sentry. His signal is coming from the old grocery store. Thank you, Colonel. I think I'll manage. So, let's check out the... Um, check out the grocery store and then we need to head up here because there is an entrance to the X8 laboratory right up there so I think we'll take care of both while we're out there but um, since I'm going up there I think I might want to bring some Actual, some additional inf ammo. Uh, I can ditch these extra drugs here. Mm, let's bring some more med kits and just some more bandages. Again, I don't necessarily need to bring back a lot of loot since I still have a lot of money and I'm pretty well stocked with uh, ammunition and other supplies, so let's head up there. See if we can find this sentry. Um, and I think I was at the. Whoa. Not the best of times to lose my breath, but... Hmm... Maybe I should have remembered to actually repair my gear, but my weapons at least se seems to be in a decent condition, so I think we'll manage. Or I guess I'm deciding that we have to manage. Okay, so shooting... Oh. 
he's not actually shooting at me, but he's just randomly shooting in all directions. Dude. Oh. Killed himself. Hmm. Okay. Jesus. Oh god. Looks like he's throwing stuff, but actually he's not sure if he's trying to claw me from all the way over there. Okay. Base, the sentry is dead. He was acting strange and attacked me. I also identified and eliminated a controller in that area. Copy that, Major. The controller must have taken over the sentry. Uh, he was a good guy. It must have been what happened to the recon unit. The controller forced them to attack each other. Anyway, over and out. Hmm. I'm not sure if he's referring to the recon unit we found down here in, I think, two episodes ago. Where they actually kind of blamed the monolith guys. I guess we have had to deal with the monolith guys anyway, but I think those are the guys the recon squad he was referring to. Hmm. Not entirely sure, but so we are heading up to the Ubalani service center up here. And we passed by that uh a while ago or in a previous episode and picked up a lot of PDAs in that area and I'm guessing that's someone inside that service center so I think that's it right here I think I'll just attach my scope and stake out the area Hmm. So far nothing, but the number of PDAs I'm picking up is increasing rapidly, so... But, also brought this helmet. So, and yeah, as you can probably tell by the minimap, I'm already picking up a lot of red dots, so... Those are... Enemies, and I'm not sure I actually want the scope right here. Yeah. But um, as you can also tell, this building has several floors, and this scanner doesn't tell me if they're above me or anything like that, so I kind of have to figure that out for myself. I think I need to head up. Okay, so... No one outside. Okay, elevator has no power, so... Hmm, I wish it would move faster when I'm crouching, because... It reduces the noise I make, but... I don't go as fast, but if I stand up, I'll make noise, and all these red dots might get alerted to my position. Oh, okay, so zombies. Oh. Okay. Fair enough, and one more right in there. Okay. 
Okay. Not sure if someone hurt me or there's something else going on. Hmm. I can easily get quite paranoid in a place like this, surrounded by enemies and all. Oh crap! Oh. Okay. I brought some antibiotics, so I'm gonna use them instead of trying to find cover because it's upstairs and well, also. Oh Jesus! Okay, so I think I'll head in here and hope that it's safe for me to actually use the antibiotics. Here goes. Wow, that was sort of freaky. But I survived the mission and no zombies came to eat me or whatever they do. Well, shoot me, I guess. And also got another achievement. Marked by the zone, you managed to survive an emission without taking cover thanks to the antibiotic pills. The effects of this on your psyche are unclear as you notice a strange silence inside your mind. It seems that you no longer hear a constant stream of thoughts. And the bubble says you have a chance of surviving an emission even without the aid of drugs, provided your health is sufficient. So, And probably not the best place for me to sit here and read the achievement, but especially with zombies around. Oh, Jesus. Okay, sounds like the whole area has awakened. Jesus. They're just aimlessly shooting. I'm not sure what they're shooting at, but... Whoa. Hmm. Okay, so... Good pile of zombies right there. Okay, so... Okay, there's definitely someone right out here. Hmm. I kind of had to switch my shotgun before because I didn't want to have to reload with all these zombies coming through the door, but I don't think that shotgun is really as subtle as my assault rifle with a silencer attached, so I'm guessing that a lot of these zombies hurt me. But I can still see the dots on the map, so it doesn't look like there's anyone down here, or at least right here, but... But yeah, the um, the achievement means that I can now actually survive an emission without finding cover or using these antibiotics, so... Not that I intend to get caught in a lot of emissions, but at least as long as my health is... Uh, okay, not zombies. Oh shit, there's one coming right here. Okay, so there's monolith here as well. Zombies and monolith. This is working out fairly well, I'd say. Gotta be mindful of the stairs though. Um, there might be someone up there, not sure. There's more down there, that's for sure. Okay, so... As 
long as I keep an eye out on the minimap, I... Okay, not sure this is a good idea. Okay, he's coming back. Got him. Okay. I think we're clear, at least. But, um, hmm, probably shouldn't be looting those guys right now. So... Hmm, anomalies and a couple of artifacts nearby. I think that's up on the roof. So I think we might want to head up there before heading into the lab, but for now let's just see if we can rid the place of some of these zombies and whatnot. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go, but well, I have an idea. Okay, clear. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll just say screw it and run around instead, make some progress a bit faster. Of course, I'm also endangering myself a bit more because they might spot me. Hmm, no way up there. So it actually tells me I need to go down, but I think that's just the entrance or the elevator. Okay, so this floor appears to be clear. Let's um uh, hmm grab some stuff. Do you have any food? Yes, bandages, sure. Uh, Medkit, bandages, more food. Cool. Grab a bite. Nom, 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 nom. Hmm. Okay. Short control bursts. Not. Okay, so I'm not sure I'm too sorry about that, but you ain't no friend of mine. So, three left. Well, okay, five actually. According to the minimap. Oh, there's two more down there. Hmm, I guess those around here are in fact on a different floor, except this guy. Okay, so... Hmm, there's some stairs up over there. Okay, no enemies over here, so... I think we might be able to make it up stairs right here. Hmm. Yeah, let's just grab this stuff and move on. I believe that beeping is from the anomalies above me, so should be safe here. Hope. Oh. oh. Oh, ouch. Okay, so there's this firing squad down there. At least I can still see them on my minimap. Okay, so... I'm down to one, and I guess that's him <laughs> right there shooting me. Hmm. He's over there now. I'm not sure if he can... 
Oh, he's trying to flank me, I think. Those are the stairs. Okay, so he's coming up right here. Alright, cool. I think we're clear, so... Finally. Whoops, bottle of vodka. Don't need that. Uh, okay, so I need to head upstairs, I think. Not from there, and this blocked off. Um, blocked off. Hmm. Blocked off, and I think that was blocked off as well, so... Du -du -du. Okay. Giant hole in the wall. Okay, so we're... Okay. Barchuk. Mercenary. He has a PDA. Which reads... The last note on the PDA reads, I found the emergency generator on the sixth floor. The technical floor. It took two hours to get it working again. I'd love to turn it on, but Serman ordered me to stay put until he brings some people in. Hmm, so some mercenaries appear to be interested in the lab as well. So, I'm not sure what floor I'm on. But, um... I'm guessing this is a generator. Oh, activate. Okay, cool. So, thanks, Serbin, for fixing the generator. Oh, and this is actually also the roof, so... And... Anomalies. Let's have a look. I think there's electros out here, so... Let's don this one. Yeah. Right there, see if I can squeeze through. So far, so good. Um... Actually, a low-level artifact. Yeah, come on back here. Come on back here. Mm. Oh, cool. Right, Burr it. Wait. Screw it. Burr. Oh well. Take that much damage from these anomalies, so I'll survive. Slightly shocked, but I'll live. Well, I guess I could have just thrown a bolt and ran, run through, but. So let's have a look at this artifact um, Snowflake. Ener energy recovery plus six, so that's even better than this one, so that's. Kind of nice, I'd say. So, I can actually use this one and the goldfish now, so that's pretty neat. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I shall spare you the boring labyrinth uh, trek um, getting down to the elevator, so I shall see you back there in the next episode. Um, this has been part 40, and uh, well, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you in episode number 41.